Good morning, everyone. How are you? I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the daily devotional with this little book, The Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is February 3rd, 2021, Wednesday. The title of today's devotional is God's Comfort. And the scripture is from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 through 11. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always for you because of the grace of God that has been given you in Christ Jesus. For in every way, you have been enriched in him, in speech, and knowledge of every kind. Just as the testimony of Christ has been strengthened among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revealing of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will also strengthen you to the end so that you may be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful. By Him you were called into the fellowship of His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Now I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you be in agreement and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be united in the same mind and the same purpose, for it has been reported to me by close people that there are quarrels among you, my brothers and sisters. Amen. Another scripture is Psalm 34, 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Today's story is from Molly, who lives in North Carolina. I have difficult news. I have difficult news for you, says the doctor. You have cancer, shock, and fear washed over me. Then came, then came heartbreak and tears. Thus began the endless rounds of scans, medical appointments, and chemotherapy treatments. Battling cancer has been the toughest, toughest journey of my life. But God has helped me firmly as we walk along this rocky path together. And along the way I have exper experienced God's peace and healing. One day, as I was sitting in the cancer center's packed waiting room, I took a moment to study the face faces of those around me. I saw fear, worry, and discouragement. I knew how they were feeling because I felt it too. I heard God's clear call to comfort these fellow suffering souls. So I became, became a volunteer driver with an organization that coordinates free transportation for cancer patients to life-saving treatments and medical appointments. As I ride along with my new friends, we may discuss our latest treatment or pro pro procedure, or we may just chat about a favorite restaurant or the weather. And sometimes we say nothing 
at all because there are no words. But most importantly, I have many opportunities to show God's compassion and to share Jesus' message of love and hope in ways I could never have imagined. God is with you and God is with me. This is the biggest gift and the great blessing to all of us who has faith in God. Because we have faith, God protects us, God loves us, and God is with us. Because we have faith in God, we can feel God's presence and God's comfort in our hearts hard time. Some people say to us, what's the difference uh, between you and I? You have faith and I don't have any faith, but our lives are still same. But I'd like to say, no, it is not. We have God all the time. Whenever we have hard time or we have joy, we have God in our heart, in our lives. And that is a big difference because God is everything for us. And God can give us God's joy, delight, comfort, peace, compassion, and justice. We can endure this moment because of God's love and grace and God's presence. When people face hardship, they feel lonely and they find help, but they couldn't find any, they cannot find any help from others. But we have. We have God and God's people who can help us and who are willing to help us. That is big difference. We have God and God is with us and God loves us. This message is the truth and this message is our strength. And this message is our comfort. I hope you and I always remind ourselves of God's love and grace, God's presence and God's protection all the time. But beyond staying in that uh, stage of faith, I hope all of us go further. And keep moving. To another stage. That we deliver God's grace and love to others. Like Molly. She experienced how hard it was. To get, getting, uh, to get the treatment for cancer. And she felt God's calling and she volunteers as a driver for the patients. And she have a lot of chance to share God's love and grace and Jesus' message with others. We can do that. We have God and we are consoled by God. We are comforted by God. We have peace. Because God has given us the same comfort, the same peace, the same compassion need people. People need that kinds of grace and mercy. People need Jesus. People need God, even though they don't know. So I hope we deliver God's message with our words and acts, our words and actions. We deliver God's message through our, throughout our lives. Helen Allen's 
his book, one of, one of the favorite, I mean, famous book of Hamlet now and it is Wounded Healer. The person who are wounded can have sympathy and empathy to the person who have the same situation and same hardship. You don't need any other skills. You just need your story and how God worked in you and how God helped you in your life. Just share it. That's all. And give people the encouraging word and grace. Let's give people God's love and grace. Let me read prayer uh, that Molly wrote here, and then I will add my prayer. Let us pray together. Loving God, keep us away, aware of those around us who are hurting. Help us comfort them as you have comforted us. Lord, we have many people who are suffering from life issues. And now, all people in the world suffers from the situation caused by the pandemic. Lord, help us. Lord, save us. Lord, we need your help for everything. In our lives, please help us and lead us into your way. Sometimes we are disappointed. Sometimes we are discouraged. However, because of your spirit and because of your love and grace, we can rise again. We can stand up again. We can cry out your love and grace to people in the world with our testimony, with our lives, stories. Please be with us and help us and let us remind ourselves of your love and presence all the time. And also let us remind our others of your love and grace. Lord, please use us and let us go to the people who really need you. Thank you for everything you've done for us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope you have a great day and wonderful day. And I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye.